What's up everyone? This is John from Running Warehouse and today I'll be giving my thoughts on the ASICS Gel Nimbus 26. Now you might be wondering, didn't we just see the Nimbus 25 not too long ago? And you would be right. Just 11 months ago, we saw the Nimbus take a huge step from previous versions into the Nimbus 25 that redefined what plush and premium comfortable experience was. So fast forward till now and we've got the ASICS Nimbus 26. Now we love to see when brands continue to innovate, continue to keep their foot on the pedal and to get new technology. So we've got the new Nimbus and we're gonna talk about how the updates came together on the run. We'll talk about some comparable models and then I'll give some final thoughts as to who this shoe is for and what the Nimbus is really gonna excel at. So getting into the updates and how that translated onto the run, there's no better place to start than in the midsole. Very similar setup to what we saw in the Nimbus 25. The curvature of the midsole is a little different, a little more refined. We have the same midsole compound of the Flight Foam Blast Plus Eco, and then you have the Pure Gel technology. I found that overall, my experience was pretty similar, though the ride felt a little less squishy, slightly firmer in the Nimbus 26 than the 25. I personally appreciated that. I found that in the Nimbus 25, the more I ran in it, the squishier the midsole felt and therefore a little less responsive. So not only did I find the Nimbus 26 to be a little bit more responsive, but that helped with stability as well. So for anyone who likes to wear the Nimbus for walks with the dog or running errands around town, I do think the Nimbus 26 is gonna improve in the stability area. With a pure gel insert, I found that it did an excellent job at absorbing impact and the ground contact. My legs felt really fresh, really protected. And don't get me wrong, when I say slightly firmer, this shoe still is plenty soft, very plush. So you're gonna get a very similar underfoot experience that you had in the Nimbus 25. In regards to the upper, you have a little bit more of a refinement. The upper is still woven, knit, and it's soft. It has a nice, comfortable wrap around the foot. I will say that it felt a little more snug than the Nimbus 25. When I first slipped on that Nimbus 25 for the first time, my feet felt at home, like the shoe was tailor-made for me. I didn't quite feel the same way about the Nimbus 26, though I will say my foot is a little wider and has a little bit more volume than maybe the average runner. So anyone who's more narrow-footed will appreciate the snug fit of the upper here. The biggest change that I could see is the suede-like eye stays that have replaced the looped eye stays that I really liked from the 25. That stretchiness really helped give an accommodating fit for my foot. And I found that the inflexibility of the suede eye stays made it a little bit more uh, pressure on my foot. And I did feel a little bit of tongue bunching that forced me to have to dial in the fit uh, every couple of miles of really loosening and playing with the laces. I was able to find a comfortable fit. It just didn't have that uh, tailor-made fit that the Nimbus 25 had. Moving down to the outsole, we see a huge update and a huge improvement. You have hybrid ASICS grip rubber that covers the majority of the outsole, and then you have strategic placements of AHAR rubber. Those elements combine to really add to the stickiness and the traction of this shoe. I felt it immediately on the surfaces when I was running for the first time, and I continue to appreciate it over a variety of surfaces I ran on. I did pavement, dirt roads, slick roads, all the while, the outsole grip really held up and felt fantastic, and it was a really nice change to see to this version. I've only got 40 miles on my pair, so I can't really speak to the durability, but I like what I'm seeing so far after 40 miles, and again, the stickiness that you get really shows that the outsole has been improved. So those are the updates and how the shoe feels overall. You're gonna enjoy the Nimbus 26 if you like soft, 
plush cushioning and with a little more responsiveness. It's really gonna add a little bit more pep to your step and make those easier efforts a little more smooth. In regards to comparable models, this is gonna fit in that premium daily trainer plush, highly cushioned category. Full disclosure, I haven't run in the latest version of the Nike Invincible or the Saucony Triumph, but those are the shoes that the Nimbus is gonna sit next to. So if you enjoy that highly cushioned and plush ride, this is where the Nimbus is really gonna shine. In terms of another shoe that's in the A6 line, we do get asked a lot about how the Nimbus compares with the Nova Blast. And from our perspective, those shoes are completely different. Even though they have the same midsole foam, the Nimbus is gonna be uh, for those recovery easier efforts. And even though some people can probably pick up the pace in the Nimbus, it's not a shoe that I would choose for a speed workout day. Whereas the Nova Blast is highly versatile and is not only highly cushioned, but it can perform for those speedier efforts. So they're two different shoes, but they're both fantastic and they complement each other well in a shoe rotation. Overall, the Nimbus 26 is gonna be a shoe that any runner can appreciate, whether you're someone who likes to just get out three to four times a week and do all your training in one shoe, the Nimbus is gonna be a fantastic option. Or if you're a runner who is in constant marathon training and gets in those speedier efforts and needs a true recovery day shoe, the Nimbus 26 is also gonna be that for you. So no matter what type of runner you are, the Nimbus 26 definitely has room to fit in your rotation. And it is a shoe that I look forward to lacing up on my recovery days and easier efforts. If you're looking to try the Nimbus 26 for yourself, you can find it here at Running Warehouse.